aboard the Food Stalker. We're coming to you live from B.R. Cohen in Sonoma. And we're here today with Chef Mark Stark, who's going to be cooking a fabulous meal for charity under the stars here in Sonoma at the winery. Ready to do some rock and roll? You got your boots on? You're ready to... Uh, you know, I did. I did step it up a little bit for this event. So. <laughs> I think I see a string bean stain right. on his boots. <laughs> I won't show you my socks, but I really am, uh, it's, they're crazy. Uh, what, what are some of the things that are just really your staples, your go-to that you love, maybe that come from, you know, this area? Well, the produce for sure, but uh, for me, um, the things uh, like uh, fresh local duck, um, goats, uh, you know, the, the organic chickens, uh, all, all those items that are available to us all year long. You were nominated by James Beard for Restaurant Terror of My wife and I Beard, were right? nominated. Uh, we were in the uh, top uh, 20, top, top 20 uh, in the United States. Share with us just briefly maybe what your inspiration is for the menu this evening. My job is to make uh, the winemaker look as good as possible. That would with be what Bruce we're Cohen, that's you Bruce. Yeah, the yes. <laughs> the first course we're using some uh, local trout from Mount Lassen and we're doing a little French green bean smoked trout salad with a uh, Laura Chanel goat cheese ranch dressing. And for the entree we're doing um, a coffee crusted uh, certified Angus beef. And we're going to serve that with what we call faux bone marrow. It's it's kind of a. What's it's, that? I've it's, never heard of faux well, it's, bone it's, marrow. it's kind of like a. It, it's going to eat like a meat pie. Cooking did not enter my life until probably 24, uh, after being thrown out of a couple of colleges. So, you know, maybe there's something else for me <laughs> out there. But you know, the cooks get the girls. <laughs> if the guy cooks, you hey, know, he's like in you know, dorm at college. If, if you're putting in a pizza or a pasta, I've told our, our youngest son, Ryan, who just turned 18, he just went to San Francisco. I said, Ryan, if you cook, the girls will come. If you have a sense of humor and you can, and you can cook, I'm not going to say it out loud, but <laughs> Things are good. You know, you're the steak guy, where's the beef? Yeah. You are the steak master. I, you know, I am the meat man in the Sonoma County. So I'm a mid, I'm a Midwest guy. Uh, yes, I'm gonna say it uh, on camera. Uh, I love corn-fed beef. We do offer the natural, the grass-fed, but we sell, uh, we offer a lot of great Midwest corn-fed beef. Uh, I'm excited to uh, get this dinner going, feed some people, and then maybe listen to uh, some Doobie Brothers. And have some wine. Yeah. I know he's ready for his glass of wine. It's almost that time. Awesome. We're checking out Sandy Ward, the food stalker. We'll catch you next time. Ciao. You fought for your country. You carried your wounded. And you brought back your dead. You didn't leave anyone behind. Six guns out.